question is for the acting premier. Dalton McGuinty's throne speech just cannot be believed. In the 2007 throne speech, he said he would help the forestry industry. If that were true, then Northern Ontario wouldn't be facing a court decision this week that will see U.S. Georgia Pacific buy the assets of Grant Forest Products for 30 cents on the dollar. Speaker, that will kill about 1,500 direct and indirect jobs. Acting Premier, why did you say you would help the forestry industry when Grant Forest Products' dire situation clearly shows you haven't? Excellent. Deputy Premier. important to note what we say in a throne speech and then what happens subsequently by the government with or without the support of the opposition parties. We said in our 2007 throne speech that we were going to reduce ER wait times, and we have. We said we were going to, we were going to lower wait times for surgical procedures in hospitals, and we have. We said we were going to— Minister. Um, the member from Simcoe North. Minister. Thank you. We said that we were going to eliminate taxes across the board for so many businesses, and we are moving to do that. We said that we were going to lower those class sizes, and we did that. In every initiative that appeared in our throne speech, we have moved to make that happen for the people of Ontario, regardless of the greatest recession that we've ever seen. So yes, we know that there is more work to do in forestry. There is more work to do in economic development. But this member in particular knows full well that we are as aggressive as ever in promoting Ontario business around the world. Thank you. Supplementary. This minister clearly doesn't know what I'm talking about, and, and on the forestry file, it, it's devoid of any notes. If this fire, this is urgent. If this fire sale is allowed to happen, Englehart will be badly hurt, Timmins will be decimated, and it'll mark the 63rd mill that'll be closed under your watch. 1,500 jobs, families, and communities that rely on these jobs could be saved by you, Acting Premier. You have the power to intervene. You have the power to cut the red tape that would allow grant forest products to access the well-funded, underutilized forest sector loan guarantee program. You have the power to save these families and these communities and this historic company. Will you do it? Excellent. Minister. Minister. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think it's important to remind the member that uh, Grant Forest Products is in uh, CCAA, which, of course, as you know, is a court process, and it would be inappropriate for us to interfere with the court process. But having said that, I am aware, we are all obviously aware of the, uh, of the sale of Grant Forest Products, Englehart and Earlton facilities to Georgia Pacific, and we know that Georgia Pacific has been meeting with, uh, with local municipal leaders and the community, and that they are indeed, and they are indeed committed to running the Englehart facility at full capacity and that's a very important point and we do understand indeed that this is a very very challenging time ownership changes are a very very difficult part of the process for all the communities but our objective is to promote and to and to maintain a sustainable forestry sector in the province of Ontario that's indeed our goal mr. speaker and that's indeed what we hope will be the end result of the situation final supplementary Speaker, while this government has forgotten about its promises to the north, it handed Ford Motors $81 million for 757 jobs that only may be created. Meanwhile, Grant Forest Products represents a made-in-Ontario business valued at over a billion dollars and the impending loss of 1,500 jobs right now. This is all about priorities in the job-starved north. There is $300 million still sitting in the Forest Sector Loan Guarantee Fund. Will you commit to a no-cash investment in our own people, a homegrown business, Ontario Forestry Technology, the resource-rich north, or do we sell our birthright to Georgia Pacific for 30 cents on the dollar? Minister, Mr. Speaker, I mean, I, I think the member knows that, uh, that indeed uh, the court has received three bids. Um, the court appointed monitor is making decisions in that regard. I know that there's a consortium of northern business uh, people that have also expressed an interest in, in grants assets, and uh, I'm, I am confident that the court will give uh, appropriate consideration to that, that request. But let me remind the member as well that indeed we are taking extraordinary measures to put Ontario's wood back to work. We've got a wood supply competition presently underway. We've extended the date for that to March 31st for proposals. 11 million cubic meters of wood 
is going to be put up for bid, and we want to make see that wood put to work. We are doing a review of our forest tenure process, which I think can bring about a reform about the way that we do allocate license and price wood in the province of Ontario. We recognize there are many challenges. I represent a riding that's uh, faced those challenges, and I can tell you that we're very, very committed to seeing a, a, a return uh, to prosperity for the forestry sector in the province of Ontario. Leader of the third party. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Health. Today, Laurie Johnson.